Hi, and welcome to episode 2 of this ProTracker tutorial. This time I'm going to talk about the C command, volume. The default value for volume is 40, and it's also the maximum volume for every sample. So, if I load a sample called Perco, raw, exit, and put some notes in this track, let's go with a little Rage Against the Machine. And all these samples will have the volume 40, since it's set as default for this sample up here. So if I decrease it to something like, something low, like C, and hit play, all the samples will have the volume C. But even if the default volume for this sample is C now, we can still override this by putting another volume on a sample like this. Let's go with the maximum volume of C, 40, and see what happens. You don't have to put the C command on the note itself. You can also put them in between. So let me delete this command. I'm raising the volume to 40 for this sample again. And let me put some C commands in between the notes this time. Let's go with the same volume that we used earlier, C. So the volume for the sample is 40, but in between the notes it's only volume C. It sounds like this. Now, I'll show you how to make a cool delay effect. I'm going to get rid of all these commands that I've put here, uh, like this. And I'm going to copy this melody to the track number two, like this. And this new melody that I just put here should be my delay or echo. And I want all of these notes to be of a lower volume. So I go ahead and put the C here and the volume A. But instead of going C, O, A on each and every one of these notes, I have a little trick. You see this one here. It's the sample number, sample 1. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete all of these numbers. Because not only does ProTracker remember the last sample it played, it will also remember the last volume you set to it. So if I play this, it will sound like this. This means that if you're not happy with the volume, you can just change it in one place, like this. If you, for example, have a looped sample that you slowly want to fade out, the C command is not that practical. That's why we have the A command. But that's the next episode, so I'll see you there.